First things first, rest in peace Robert Earl Davis Jr., otherwise known as DJ's crew, the father of the chopping screw. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna lay my hands on the chopping. According to Wikipedia, Chopped and Screwed is a technique of remixing hip-hop music developed in the Houston hip-hop scene in the early 90s, pioneered by DJ Screw. The screw is accomplished by slowing down the tempo of a track to about 60 to 70 BPM, and the chop is achieved by applying techniques such as skipping, skipping beats, record scratching, and stop time, thus creating a chopped up version of the track. Said she wanna hang out with me in the back room of a crowded party And I, I've been looking at you, you've been looking at me, we should get things started yeah. Said she wanna hang out with me in the back room of a crowded party And I, I've been looking at you, I've been looking at you, we should get things started yeah. Now, whether DJ Screw definitively created Chopped and Screwed is debatable in a 1995 interview with Rap Pages, when asked how he discovered his slow style of mixes, Screw replied, In the crib, mixing, you know, getting high. When you smoke weed, you really don't be doing a whole lot of ripping and running. I started messing with the pitch adjusters on the turntables and slowed it all the way down. I thought the music sounded better like that. It stuck with me. Because when you're smoking weed and listening to music, you can't bomb your head to nothing fast. In the same interview, DJ Screw explains the sob genre like this. The screw sound is when I mix tapes with songs that people can relax to. He said. Slower tempos to feel the music and so that you can hear what the rapper is saying. I make my tapes so that everyone can feel them. But DJ Screw drew his influence from the Houston local veteran DJ, DJ Daryl Scott, who was known for his slow down mixes of disco and soul records. I think listening to a Daryl Scott tape was the first time I ever heard blending. DJ Screw took this concept and applied it to hip hop, using two turntables to cut back and forth between two copies of the same record, one always being a full beat behind the other. When Scissorp aka Lean aka Purple Drank became the popular brew of the early 90s, it had a major influence on the making of and listening to of chopped and screwed music due to its perceived effect of slowing down the brain and thus enhancing the effect of the slow mellow music. The sedative effect of lean combined with chopped and screwed matched the mood of the listener. One of soothing ease, unhurried, unrushed leisure, drowsiness, even numbness. A place where you feel no pain, where you, the listener, are suspended in that liminal space between the dreamscape and consciousness. Unfortunately, it was this fatal combination of codeine, Valium, and PCP that led to his untimely and early demise from heart failure on November 16, 2000, at only the age of 29. Even behind an entire subgenre in its wake, and 20 years later, people like me, a girl from Mombasa, Kenya, trying to establish what it was he started that he might not even have known he was starting. Similar to how DJ Screw was influenced by DJ Daryl Scott, Slowed and Reverb is this generation's homage to Chopped and Screwed, albeit different by way of construction. Whereas Chopped and Screwed required technique and finesse, we're far from the days of the manual labor of analog manipulation. You don't even need to know your way around basic audio production software. Slowedandreverb.com is an API which automatically does it for you. So when exactly was Slowed and Reverb born? According to Pitchfork, in 2017, a 20-year-old by the name Jerry Lynn Moore, alias Slater, uploaded a bedroom remix of Lil Uzi Vert's 20 Minutes beneath a looped animation of a pink skeleton. Within a week, the video had garnered 20,000 views, sparking a subgenre along with it. The formula is simple. Slow it down, throw it in a digital echo chamber, slap on some moody visuals, voila, feels. Slater is from Houston and grew up listening to DJ Screw. While Slowed and Reverb exempts the chop chop of its forebearer in favor of a dreamier softer ambience slater declares load and reverb while different to chopped and screwed a tribute to dj screw as he says in his own words i always felt that i shouldn't touch chopped and screwed music because one it's not really screwed if it's not by dj screw 
And two, the chops are sacred to the culture and not everyone can imitate it. So I would never want to even try to. I'm just glad I'm able to bring it to a wider audience. Or like DJ Screw said, it's only a screw tape if I screw it. Currently, the most popular slowed and reverb channel is Rum World. It's run by two African-American lads from Houston who are DJ Screw fans themselves. There's a homogeneous theme running through all of this. Through the fact that it's not chopped and screwed unless it's by DJ Screw. Through the formula of the slowed and reverb. One is a trademark sound unique to one person long gone from this plane of existence. The other belongs to all who seek it through a tried and true formula. And an API if you're lazy. In the chopped, slopped, slowed, screwed, and reverb altiverse, with its palm tree lined pavements and neon VHS views, where you drive slow, near empty roads to the tempo of the slow jam on the radio, where it's always 2 a.m. and loneliness greets you warmly, like an old friend. Chopped and screwed gave rise to cloud rap, which gave rise to vaporwave, a subculture characterized by lo fi, 80s and 90s aesthetics, nostalgia, and emotional vulnerability. Out of the vapor, slowed and reverb took form. A new take on an old visceral feeling. <laughs> Tashikoma shati, mchezo kwa kazi, tingisha